Welcome to Daily Overdose. You would not have the desire unless you were capable of its achievement. Each of us has a built-in governor, and our desires are modified by our abilities and leanings. Whatever it is that you desire with all your heart, understand once and for all that it can and should be yours. Before you can be sure of your ability to transmute desire into its monetary equivalent, you will require specialized knowledge of the service, merchandise, or profession which you intend to offer in return for fortune. Perhaps you may need much more specialized knowledge than you have the ability or the inclination to acquire. And if this should be true, you may bridge your weakness through the aid of your mastermind group. The problem is not lack of information. The problem is simply we don't do the information that's been handed to us. Simple stuff. An apple a day. It keeps the doctor away. Anybody can do it. But what's easy to do is easy not to do. A few basics you won't practice, a few ideals you won't let them serve you, then you've got to put up with your own empty bank account, empty heart, empty soul, not enough vitality, not enough health. You've got to get comfortable in getting uncomfortable. And the minute that discomfort begins to woo you, you are no longer in control. So put yourself purposefully in uncomfortable situations. But as John Wooden said, never let what you cannot do interfere with what you can. There is something right now that you're capable of. There is an innate skill inside of you that's your spark. It's that starting point. It's that thing that while you may not be the best in the world at it, it's a flame that you can fan. It's something that you can breathe life into and really begin to get good. But first, you have to understand the very nature of progress. And that's as Stephen Covey said. You're not the product of your circumstances, but rather a product of your decisions. Don't sentence yourself to a lifetime of being miserable, a lifetime of being broke, a lifetime of being unhealthy, a lifetime of being in a relationship that is no longer fulfilling to you, a lifetime of, live, of working on a job that, that does not bring you satisfaction, that's not giving you the creative uh, urge that you need and, and, and that got to have in your life that stimulates you. Don't sentence yourself like that. You are a human being. Don't volunteer your life that way. Your life has too much value to the universe. You've got something to contribute. You've got something to give. That if you're willing to do the hard work of looking internally and building something new, if you're willing to tear yourself down, if you're willing to brick by brick disassemble that thing that has been built by accident inside of you and move forward with a new level of intention and build something, an entirely new structure with your eyes open, Then you make room for the new. Then you can build what you want to build. Then we'll have the change that we want. It is conscious power in action. It is active power consciousness. Power consciousness is what you feel when you know that you can do a thing and you know how to do the thing. If I can cause you to know that you can succeed, and to know that you know how to succeed, I have placed success within your grasp, for if you know that you can do a thing, and know that you know how to do it, it is impossible that you should fail to do it, if you really try. When you are in full power consciousness, you will approach the task in an absolutely successful frame of mind. Every thought will be a successful thought, every action a successful action, and if every thought and action is successful, the sum total of all your actions cannot be failure. What I have to do in these lessons, then, is to teach you how to create power consciousness in yourself so that you will know that you can do what you want to do, and then to teach you how to do what you want to do. It is a fact in nature that the undeveloped is always capable of development. We see, then, that the cause of success is in you and is capable of full development. Having read this, you must believe that it is possible for you to succeed, but it is not enough for you to believe that you can, you must know that you can. And the subconscious mind must know it as well as the objective mind. People have a way of saying, he can who thinks he can. But this is not true. It is not even true that he can, who knows he can, if only the objective mind is spoken of, for the subconscious mind will often completely set aside and overcome what is positively known by the objective mind. It is a true statement, however, that he can, whose subconscious mind knows that he can, 
and it is especially true if his objective mind has been trained to be at work. People fail because they think objectively that they can do things, but do not know subconsciously that they can do them. It is more than likely that your subconscious mind is even now impressed with doubts of your ability to succeed and these must be removed, or it will withhold its power when you need it most. The subconscious mind is the source from which power comes in the action of any faculty, and a doubt will cause this power to be withheld, and the action will be weak, therefore, your first step must be to impress your subconscious mind with that fact that you can. This must be done by repeated suggestions. Practice the following mental exercise several times a day, and especially just before going to sleep, think quietly about the subconscious mentality, which permeates your whole body as water permeates a sponge as you think of this mind. Try to feel it, you will soon be able to become conscious of it. Hold this consciousness and say with deep, earnest feeling, I can succeed. All that is possible to anyone is possible to me. I am successful. I do succeed for I am full of the power of success. This is the simple truth. Realize that it is true, and repeat it over and over until your mentality is saturated through and through with the knowledge that you can do what you want to do. You can, other people have, and you can do more than anyone has ever done. Thank you for watching our videos. Please like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss another video.